Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be dealing with an exponential expression. We have 12 to the power x minus 1 over x equals 3 and we're going to evaluate a to the power x. I'll be presenting three methods even though two of the methods are kind of similar. Let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to align both sides. So we have 12 to the power x minus 1 over x equals 3. And from here, we're supposed to find a to the power x. Let's go ahead and ln both sides. ln 12 to the power x minus 1 over x equals ln 3. By the way, you don't have to use ln. Um, you can use any base. You can use log, like base 10. You can use natural log, like ln, or uh, base 3, base 12, whatever. It doesn't matter. You're going to get the same thing. So now, one of the nicest things about um, logs is we have this power property. We can go ahead and move this to the front. And we can write this as x minus 1 over x times ln 12 equals ln 3. Great. So this gives us an equation in x because ln 12 and ln 3 are constants. We can go ahead and solve for x. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by ln 12 first. So we get the following. And then from here we can go ahead and do cross multiplication. If you multiply x minus 1 by ln 12, you get x ln 12 minus ln 12, not x. And that equals x times ln 3. Now since these uh, terms both have x in them, let's put, go ahead and put them on the same side because we're going to factor x ln 12 minus x ln 3 and put the ln 12 on the right hand side. We cannot factor out x and write it this way. Now we're going to divide both sides by ln 12 minus ln 3 but we can use properties of logs one more time. What is ln a minus ln b? You can't ln a difference, but you can do the difference of lns, which turns into the ln of a quotient, right? Of course, a and b should not equal 0, a and b are both positive, so on and so forth. So in this case, ln 12 minus ln 3 can be written as ln 4, which is nice for our purposes. And then from here, we can write the x as ln 12 over ln 4. Let's leave it like that. You don't have to simplify anymore. You can break down the 12, obviously, but you don't need to. Let's go ahead and leave it at that. Now we're going to deal with the uh, the question. The question is asking for a to the power x, and we, we know what x is, right? We know the value of x. We don't need the numerical value. We can leave it like that. So that's the exact value. Because if you evaluate it with a calculator, it's not going to be exact. So a to the power x becomes then a to the power ln 12 over ln 4. Now, at this point, I can kind of use a lot of different properties. Definitely, you can break this down in so many ways. But I want to use uh, something that I really like, which is change of base. And the change of base tells us that, hey, ln12 over ln4, of course, we're working backwards with that, can be written as log 12 with base 4, right? Remember, uh, in one of the previous videos, we talked about uh, change of base formula. And the 12 is in the numerator, therefore, it is going to be the top number or it's going to be above the 12. Okay, so that's the answer, but how do you simplify that? How do you find a to the power something? So the question is, what is log 12 with base 4? That's what we got to find out, right? So since we don't know what it is, let's go ahead and set it equal to a, okay? From here, by using definition, definition of logs, we get 4 to the power a equals 12. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and break down the 12 into 4 times 3 and so on and so forth, but I'd like to find the a directly. So, I can do the following. Actually, I don't need to find the a directly because we call this a, so I'm looking for a to the power a. In other words, that's what I need. I know 4 to the power a is 12. What is 8 to the power a? How do you find it? Right? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to square root both sides and notice that 4 to the power a or uh, square root of that, which is 2 to the power a, cannot be negative. So this is going to be 2 root 3. And then from here, we're going to get 2. Okay, we got 2 to the power a. We do need a to the power a. And a to the power a is 2 to the power a cubed. So the answer is 2 root 3 cubed, 
which is 8 times 3 root 3 and that can be written as 24 root 3. That brings us to the end of the first method and the beginning of second method. Let's talk about the second method. For the second method we're going to do the following. Start off with the original problem and then our goal is to find a to the power x, remember? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise both sides to the power x. Can I do that? Raise to the power x, raise to the power x. And these two x's are going to cancel out, which is what's nice about this. 12 to the power x minus 1 equals 3 to the power x. All right? Now what can I do with this? I have 12 to the x, 3 to the x. I can go ahead and do the following. Write this as 12 to the x divided by 12 equals 3 to the x. And then since these two are multiplied, we can go ahead and switch them out. 12 to the x divided by 3 to the x equals 12, right? And this is equivalent to what? 4 to the power x equals 12. And that kind of brings us to the same point that we had before, but more directly. Now, we are supposed to find 8 to the power x from here. So let's go ahead and square root both sides again. And that's going to give us... 2 to the power x equals 2 root 3, but I can use a slightly different approach. 4 to the x is 12. Let's go ahead and multiply these together to get 8 to the x, which is 24 root 3. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and talk about the third method. And like I said earlier, um, two of the methods are pretty close. You're going to tell me which ones, but still could be considered a different approach. All right. So so for our second method, if you remember, we raised both sides to the power x. Here we're going to do the following. So I got 12 to the power x minus 1 over x equals 3. I'm going to go ahead and split this up. Can I write it as 12 to the power 1 minus 1 over x equals 3? Right? That would be really cool, wouldn't it? Now I can use the formula 12 divided by 12 to the power 1 over x equals 3. Now you're thinking, 12 divided by what number equals 3? And the answer is 4. So 12 to the power 1 over x must be 4. From here, 12 becomes 4 to the power x if you raise both sides to the power x. And then from here, you proceed uh, as before. So 2 to the x equals 2 root 3. And then you can go to multiply these. 8 to the x becomes 24 root 3. So the answer is 24 root 3. As you can see, with three different methods, uh, please let me know what you think about all these different methods. I know some of them are longer than others, like the first method is definitely a little bit more painful, but it still gives us the answer. So whichever you like. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.